Well, I'm going to put out something about, I know people are pretty much interested in a couple topics is uh, having good energy and losing weight, right? Now, um, I'm not lightweight now, but I know uh, not that many years ago, I was like below, um, I'd say five years ago, I was below 10% body fat, and uh, I go too excessive, but I'm going to tell you like um, what enabled me to do um, three hours of cardio every day pretty much without having too much fuel and I was burning up the body fat and um, going too excessive, too, too excessively lean. But um, this actually is a concern of a lot of people because they seem, you know, a lot of common complaints are, you know, I don't have energy. Now, it could be a number of things. There's like a gazillion different things. And I'm going to just recommend, because there's so many different vitamins out there, supplements and different things that people say, take this, take that, and all this garbage. Um, you know, I always take this, Nature's Way of Life. I don't sell it. I don't have any financial affiliation to it. But I think it's about the best whole food uh, blend of natural vitamins going, okay? Now, I'm going to state something else, though, uh, and make it... Uh, another couple recommendations about because actually this interlocks with a lot of different things not just about energy or weight loss but also your heart health uh, people would have insulin resistance with diabetes and, and all, all kinds of stuff it's it's um, it's beyond ridiculous like sometimes what what is being left out of I guess common medical practice because, uh, you know, I guess if you go back to the father of, of all medicine, Hippocrates, he said, let, uh, let food be thy medicine, right? And, <laughs> you know, things that we take in our body do affect our health. It's just, that's just how it is. I mean, uh, I don't think any medical professional will refute that uh, eating organic, healthy food every day uh, that, are, that is fresh from the farm is going to be, have a major impact on your body versus going to fast food, greasy food every day. So let me just put it to that way as a side note before I get going here. But anyway, I want to point out about uh, ATP production. ATP actually is, you know, I always just call it ATP. It's adenosine triphosphate, actually. I just call it ATP. And actually what it is, is the energy, uh, it's the intercellular en energy transfer that goes from the mitochondria in the cells, the energy sacks of the cells. Now, a lot of people actually in gyms and stuff kind of know about ATP. There's even ATP supplements. They can put it directly into the body. But two things that help bring up ATP is a supplement called alpha-lipoic alpha acid and N-acetyl-L-carnitine. It's not N-acetyl-cysteine. It's, that's NAC. It's N or they might call it L-carnitine without the N-acetyl. So these two combinate, actually you'll see this often as a combined supplement. It's a fairly expensive supplement too. Now I'm going to tell you what, as far as the L-carnitine, you know where you can actually, it's a protein. It's a protein. You know where it's a major source of that is? Beef. You know, they tell you that beef is no good, right? I, I don't buy that, to tell you the truth. Uh, I think it's uh, maybe certain types of beef maybe that have you know, high production or not grass-fed beef or something. There's a lot of hormones in the animal or something. Maybe that's not good, but beef is actually, you know, in a balanced diet is actually good. And it's a very high source of L-carnitine. So you can buy the supplement with alpha-lipoic acid together with L-carnitine um, L together, or you could just buy the supplement separate, alpha-lipoic alpha acid, and you know eat some beef which will be the same thing as them working together so um but it's actually the combination of these two that bring up the atp in the body which is actually responsible for the um transfer of energy in and out of the cells and actually it gives you more energy it helps you with metabolizing and breaking down fat actually um alpha lipoic acid has sometimes been touted to be the most powerful antioxidant going by you know I mean there's a little competition between who's on the very top but this is definitely near the very top uh, the biggest uh, free radical scavenger going so beyond it possibly giving you more energy and helping you maybe 
burn up more fat without feeling tired because it helps you burn fat and raises your ATP in the body. It it's actually works as an antioxidant. Now, I actually want to point out something else. Uh, you know, actually, when you're doing this type of stuff, though, when you're burning up um, excess fats in the body, you're actually burning up the triglycerides in the blood, too, which is, you know, you, you don't want high triglycerides in the blood. And it actually helps with um, the problem with diabetes and insulin resistance, too. It all kind of works together. It's, uh, it's, it's almost too simple, okay? So it's actually helping you raise your energy and it helps you to burn your own body's body fat. I, I know this works because when I was going extra lean, um, I was doing this, I was taking major amounts of this stuff left and right, and um, I don't know, it just seemed like I had the good energy to make it through three hours or more every day of high intensity cardio uh, on the elliptical machine 360, 365 days a year. And I was doing that for several years uh, without even a break for Christmas or holidays, uh, in some days I did four or five or even more hours of cardio split up into two 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 sessions. Maybe there'd be a two hour session and a two and a half hour session, but um, that's really extreme. <laughs> and a lot of people told me so, so I backed off. But anyway, and they also said I was getting too skinny and all this garbage. But anyway, uh, the other thing is as you are. Um, Using making more ATP by combining these two ingredients in a body, the alpha lipoic acid and the L carnitine or N acetyl L carnitine, as you're making more ATP, which actually gives you more energy. And like I said, there's other uses behind uh, beyond this. It's the the uh, alpha lipoic acid is a very powerful antioxidant, it helps anti aging, it's touted to be that. And um, also, L carnitine. Uh, is supposedly to prote it protects the heart. It's you know this is where you know they say beef is no good for you for your you know your heart and uh, you know I don't know the protein that's in the beef is good for your heart that's for sure. So and let me put it to you that way. Now I'm bringing up that about the heart because as you um, use up as you make ATP from those two ingredients the alpha lipoic acid and the N acetyl uh, carnitine you burn up. CoQ10 in a body, you actually will use this and deplete this. And this sometimes has been known, nicknamed as the heart vitamin, CoQ10. Now, the reason is, it's actually the last place it will be used up in a body is in the heart. If you actually have very low um, CoQ10 in the body, it can lead to heart attacks. That's been per... Let me put more, I guess it was Japanese, more Japanese re medical researchers. But I think it's also recognized in the West, too. CoQ10 is actually a very good supplement to take. Also, there's no, um, as far as everything I researched, there's no, like, toxicity level. Because sometimes when you take too much of something, you know, that's good. If you take too much of it, it's no good, right? Actually, this stuff, actually, you can take quite a bit of it. And um, there's been studies that showed it's it's still not toxic. But the thing is, it's expensive. So you don't want to take too much of it anyway. But I want to point out that this product here does have some CoQ10 in it. It has uh, 100 milligrams uh, with, the, with the daily dose. So that's something. If you want to take extra, here it is. But, you know, if you're taking it in combination of trying to lose some weight, um, you know, we're taking, say, the alpha lipoic acid and the L-carnitine, um, you will actually need some more of this because you're going to be burning up. You're going to be making more ATP, and you'll be using this up in the body. You'll be and so you need more of it. Anytime actually the body is under stress from any kind of diseases or anything like that, it's probably good to take more of this. This is one of these things where it's a it's a pretty safe bet. Now I'm going to tell you something else about this, the heart vitamin. You know, um, and this is like something that kind of uh, I don't know. It's Tells you something about. I, I sometimes I wonder about what's going on with Western doctors now. Where sometimes I I try to get information about what maybe is a little bit not what Western doctors are saying is I'll look at information from Japan and Germany, two Western countries that are you know highly industrialized and have a very uh, highly developed medical system. If they say something that conflicts with what the or they or something that 
the you know, U.S. medical system leaves out, I pay attention to what they'll say in Germany and Japan especially. Maybe not everywhere else, but especially them. But I'm going to bring up something. In Japan, it's been um, actually now, I think, the rule that if they give statin drugs for lowering cholesterol, they have to prescribe a supplement of CoQ10. And the reason being is that statin drugs that lower cholesterol can actually lower the CoQ10 in the body by up to 40%. And, you know, I don't, you know, I mean, I know sometimes there's a lot of um, conflict and, you know, oh, this, this study says that and this study says that, but everything I've seen, even in the Western medical literature, says that, even though I'm not a doctor, I mean, I read extensively and have read extensively about this stuff for many, many, many years, actually. I used to read about it all the time when I was working out at the gym, any kind of, uh, you know, medical reports. I, I look at, you know, conventional medicine. I look at the natural paths and everything else out there, try to get a balanced opinion on what's going on. So, But it looks like it's actually a, a bona fide hard fact that when people, doctors are giving you statins to lower your cholesterol, now you might say that's controversial in itself because you need cholesterol for this and that, and so people... You know, I know to keep changing the levels of what's bad and what's good. Uh, like my cholesterol level, I think is 120. It's like below anything they they could bitch at, I guess. <laughs> because it used to be 200 or 220 was fine. It was 180. Then it was 150. And I'm like, I don't know. I, I I sometimes I wonder if they're just trying to sell statins, but maybe they are, right? But say for instance you are taking statins, and you might want to actually, you, really, you re, I would say is you really would want to take this and go with the Japanese doctor way of doing things because they actually tell people to take the CoQ10 if you're taking statins because it's been shown that statins greatly, greatly reduce the level of CoQ10 in the body. And CoQ10 has not been nicknamed the heart vitamin for no reason. It protect, it's actually vital and protects the heart. So, anyway, but anyway, you know, so I just want to point this out because a lot of times people are, uh, you know, they're a little like, uh, you know, how do we get some more energy, you know, you know, drink some coffee, <laughs> you know, it works for a little bit, right? But it doesn't over, it doesn't work maybe overall, you know, as an overall thing. But, you know, sometimes it's a com it could be a combination of so many different nutrients because if you're missing one nutrient, uh, it could be that nutrient. You might be taking all these different things, and if you're missing this one nutrient, it could be B12 or something, and it makes you feel slow or whatever. You know, that's why I kind of say, you know, I I don't sell this, but I take this all the time. I've been taking this for years. I think it's great stuff. It's got a good balance of everything in it. It's all natural, whole food derived, and I'll, it does have some of the CoQ10 in it too, but you can take more of it separately if you want because it seems like, uh, from everything I read, uh, well, you wouldn't want to take too 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 much of it anyway because it gets too expensive. But you know, if you wanted to take one of these uh, lightweight um, pills here, this is like a not even a high dosage. You can take one of these in addition to the Nature's Way of Life. Now, this is actually a strong dosage of alpha lipoic acid, and like I said, it's got to be alpha lipoic acid combined with L-carnitine or acetyl L-carnitine. That actually helps raise the ATP in a body, which is actually known as, I, you know, I guess they call it like uh, a molecular energy unit. And uh, it's actually been, ATP has actually been synthesized synthetically, but it's pretty expensive, so you're probably better off buying the alpha lipoic acid, which actually doubles as a very, very powerful antioxidant, anti aging, and all this type of stuff. So it might be a better strategy, but. Uh, but, you know, it's this ATP has been well known in, you know, if you're in a working out and you're in the gym circles and people like that, a lot of people know about this. A lot of people do know about it. And uh, if you want to burn up fat easier, uh, you want to have the right ingredients in your body to basically metabolize that fat and use it as energy. And, you know, as you're doing that, it's also, like I said, I'm, I'm repeating it again, but you're lowering your triglycerides, which is something they want to have low in the blood. They want you to burn up that. Triglycerides are like 
you know, in my way of like thinking of it, it's like fat that's in the blood, you know. So you burn it up, you burn it up, and uh, you will have better energy for the most. I think it works excellent because my experience was I used to go um, to the gym and I wasn't even eating any. Uh, I had some lunch. It wasn't like a really big lunch. Didn't have breakfast. I <laughs> didn't have supper, and I went to the gym, you know, and uh, I'd work out for three hours, so I was like pretty much on empty, you know what I mean, and I did not, I was able to go through the whole hard cardio session, but I remember I, I used to take this stuff like a religion, I used to take a lot of CoQ10, a lot of um, L-carnitine, and a lot of alpha lipoic acid, and I think that's what helped me out, and you know, everything I've read uh, the theory seems to hold up, and actually, if you go in and ask, like, some of the professional trainers and things like that, uh, they'll probably tell you the same thing. But it has a host of other vital benefits besides. Like I said, the L-carnitine uh, is protects the heart. You know, it's one of the proteins that's very good for the heart. It's mainly found in beef, so that kind of refutes some of the stuff they say about beef and heart, you know. And uh, the other one is uh, CoQ10. CoQ10 is also known as the heart vitamin, nicknamed. It's not a vitamin, but they, they, they nickname it the heart vitamin. It's kind of a, you know, not a, it's not a vitamin, but they nickname it that. And because it's so essential to the heart. And again, the uh, alpha lipoic acid is, besides, you know, working together with help produce the ATP, is the most powerful uh, or one of the most powerful. It may not, you know, it's, sometimes it's touted as number one, but there's a couple other competitors out there. But as being a, um, a free radical scavenger and anti-aging agent. So it's got a few uses. Now, we just want to turn people on to some of this stuff because uh, I've got a lot of knowledge in this area. And, uh, you know, sometimes I don't think to pass it on. I figured I'd pass it on in this video, so... Um, this was one of the best tricks I knew, one of the best tricks I knew, and um, I don't do it as much anymore uh, because I'm not working out as much on purpose, but if I decide to go full tilt again, I will definitely use this method.